This is a Dynamics AX2012 X++ Editor demo. To demo the editor, I've created a new class. And you'll notice that I now have the ability to zoom in and out, so let me zoom a little bit so you can see what I'm typing. I'll start by renaming my class to demo class. Then I will add a new method. And in X++, the entry point on a class is a static main method, just like in the past. And one way to create a static main method would be to run the editor script like you could in the past template method main but that requires quite a few mouse clicks so instead what we have added is the ability to run it directly in the editor so if you delete everything type main which is the name of the editor script and press tab then we run it automatically now typically in a main method you create an instance of a class and we have added word completion so now when i start typing You'll see all the types that match what I've typed so far. Right. So now when I press M, only the demo class uh, matches it. And I can press Enter, which completes the word. I can write demo class equals new. And then again, we get it here, demo class. So it saves quite a few clicks. It makes it a lot, lot easier to type. Typically, you want to invoke a method on the demo class, but I haven't added any methods yet, so let's do that. Let's create a new method here. Let me scroll a little bit. Notice that we've added the keyword private to the method template. We haven't changed the compiler, so a method without having any private protected or public specifier is still public. But we've added the keyword private to all methods, to all new methods, so you need explicitly to make a choice on the accessibility level. So let's just leave it private. Let's give our method a name and add a parameter. Um, typically, you want to add XML documentation as well. And you can do this by typing three slashes. And we'll expand this automatically. This is my method. And on the param, this is para meter one whatever right and when we save this we can go back to the main method and when i click dot here we can see we have the foo method and notice that the xml documentation is available immediately right so you when you write and provide xml documentation as a developer you get the benefit immediately directly in the editor so let's select this And now notice we also have the parameter information. And if you click or hold down the control key, we're able to make this uh, fade, fading in with the background so you can actually see code that could have been behind this. So far, so good. Now you see this semicolon here. In the past, you required it because demo class is the name of a type and the name of a variable. And down here, the compiler couldn't figure out if you're pointing to a demo class type because you want to declare a new variable of the same type, or if you're referring to the variable. We've changed the compiler, so it's now looking one token ahead. So it's actually not determining whether demo class is a type or the variable before it comes to this token. And given this is a dot, it knows that you're referring to the variable. If it had been a a name of a new variable, it would have known that this demo class referred to a type. So net net, you don't need the semicolon anymore. Another nice thing we've added is F12. F12 replaces the control shift space, which is drilled into. Now, if I click F12 on a variable, notice what happens to the cursor. It jumps to the type. So it's very easy to go from some code, one variable, you don't really know what it is, and jump directly to the type definition. And if you press F12 again, we'll open up the type in the AOT so you can actually see the definition of the type. This saves you a lot of navigating in the AOT. You can also edit enable line numbers and change margin. So now when I start typing here, you can see we get a yellow thing. I want to press save, it turns green. So this is a way to keep track of which lines you've edited. Um, we've also added support for labels. So let's type in a label. Notice that 
the string now is red. It's not a label yet because I haven't added the add sign. But the second I add the add sign, it turns purple. And when I hover over it, I get the value of the label immediately. We have added um, multi-line editing. Um, so let's just create a lot of these lines, Control c and Control v Just like in VS, you can easily copy and paste a full line. And now if I hold down the Alt key, I can select here. Press backspace to delete it. I can type something else. It's a very convenient way to edit multiple lines at, at a time. I can do uh, comment in and out, control E C, control E U, also very convenient. Um, if now I do something that's a little bit against best practices, I'll do a single quotes on a label. And if we compile this, we'll see we get a, a best practice error use, double quote marks when referring to labels instead of single quotes, but also notice that we have a squiggly line up here, so you get the errors directly in the source code, so you don't have to go through the compiler output to to find the errors and solve them. Right, so let's just get that one back in line. Um, we have also aligned with VS on a lot of other editing uh, features, like when you're navigating words, control, shift, the way we're jumping through the tokens are aligned with VS, and how we're, how the home key behaves is also aligned with uh, with Visual Studio. And finally, I want to show you that you can add breakpoints by clicking out here in the margin, just like you're used to in VS. In fact, this editor is a Visual Studio 2010 editor that we are hosting within Morphex, and we've added X++ um, capabilities to it, so it knows about the explicit syntax and color coding and so on. Um, another thing we've added is indenting, so if I type if true, notice that it automatically indented because it knows the next line should be indented on an if statement. If I press in a brace, it puts that in the right place immediately, um, whatever here, and when I put a closing brace, it automatically jumps out again. So. In general, it's a lot easier to type in X++ code with this new editor. It takes like an hour to get used to, and after that, there's no turning back.